everybody has to say, and let's all start screaming all over each other. Let's try to get something done. So, thank you. Okay. Okay. All right. So, Representative Senke. Um, at this time, I just want to welcome everybody and want to thank everybody for coming tonight to hear our presentation and to hear what the Game Commission has to say about what's going on out here. Um, I just want to introduce all of us. Uh, some of you have gotten phone calls or pamphlets, and those were primarily handled <coughs> by myself, Allison Gold, my husband Brian, and John Smith. Uh, we're your sludge committee, I guess you could call us. Um, we invited a lot of people to come tonight, and we just kind of want to let everybody know who well we've contacted. Um, obviously, Representative Sankey, we contacted two news stations, um, Channel 6 and Channel 10, both of them declined from coming. We contacted Punsy Spirit this year, Mr. Larry McGuire, um, the Progress this year, Ms. Diane Byers, and we have some other interesting people here tonight. Um, Mr. Charlie Lombardo, he's running for the Clearfield County Democratic Chair, so hopefully he can help us get this stuff. It's the gentleman in the red shirt, second row. <laughs> um, okay, and we have some um, commissioners here. <laughs> this gentleman in the second row also. And, um, we want to um, explain the rules of the meeting once again, just like um, Mr. Sankey had said. We don't want anybody getting hostile. We want this to be an amicable, friendly meeting. Anybody getting out of hand, we will be asking you to do hit the road. So, um, at this time, Brian, we have some pictures, and Brian is going to step up and explain the pictures and show you guys where the application sites are and to give you a little bit of a view so you know exactly what we're talking about.
As you can see, stuff that they say it's not supposed to be. Here's water that's trapped on the property that cannot leave or is being absorbed, so it's puddling up. So all the biosolids that are running <coughs> are concentrated in these areas. And this slope here, what was that slope? 57% uh, and we're not supposed to be any greater than 35%. That's a big difference. In the top right corner, you'll see a barn. That is Ted Parrish's property. I mean, you're in a, not very far off this lit man's property. Matter of fact, I do believe he borders it. And just past his property, you'll see that white line down there, about two inches long. That's Parrish Road. The Sunderlands are just on the other corner, and to the left of that barn, just over the hills. Sue Tony's property, Mike Tony. <coughs> Everybody in that direction is personally, you know, dealing with all the smell and everything. This is another one, a big shot of the farm in the distance and how great that slope is going down. <coughs> another one of just the slope of where it starts to level off on this strip line. Now, here is where the pond is in the lower section of all the runoff is coming off this mine site is headed directly into this pond and then there's also been uh, roads cut to hold the travel of water and everything is concentrated into this pond. <coughs> this pond is full of biosolid waste and just on the other side of that pond where the water uh, leaches out is the start of a stream. Okay, do the next one. Just more of a picture of the pond. And you'll see it's one area that those are tracks coming up. That is a, one of the ditch lines that they cut to help try to direct the water to go into this pond. And this present section here is water that's actually traveling towards it, that's actually helping to erode some of the biosols that were spread. Um, and I guess I didn't. Again, you can see the discoloration in that water as unfriendly water. Here is frozen erosion water traveling down off the site through the rock bed and headed directly into the, the pond. And as you can see here, there's different layers of sediment that's been firstly ran in here. And the, everything frozen over, of course, at you know, that time of year. But you can see this, the discoloration in this water. It's, it's not very healthy. Just more picture of the site water, and at the bottom right corner, you could come on, man. <laughs> in the bottom right corner is the start of the, the heavy runoff coming down the, the main site, and this was taken in mid January is when we got these pictures. Just more of the water coming in and the, the section of that pond. <coughs> And this is just more water that's been frozen that was traveling down to this sediment pond. Here is a good one of the erosion coming off the site. This is the first site. It actually, after the uh, land applied all this, the water ate the ground up down to the main stones that it couldn't move yet. So where is all this biosolids going that the, these guys are spreading? It's all going to this pond, which will be <coughs> the watershed. Just more of the ponding of water that's frozen now on top of everything that was disturbed from the spreading. Same here. Uh, you, you see the tracks that they was actually in there with their tractors and tilling it in. And this here is the snow that actually has the biosolid material laying on top of the snow. This isn't underneath where the sand land on the ice or something. This is where the wind's actually picking up the biosolids, throwing it onto the snow, and now when this melts, where is it going? It's going to go with the snow to the water, with the water, to these ponds, then into our water. <coughs> this is on the top of the site where the mixing site was. It is laden with water, and it's now frozen, of course, but this water is just full of everything. I mean, you wouldn't want to walk in it. I was just up to the site here a little while ago to get some pictures. Just walked on the ground, and my boots now stink. 
Looks like, smells like I stepped inside of a porta jaw. <coughs> this here is the actual mixing site and what it looks like. This is the, on the second site out on the million dollar highway on McGee's Mills Road on the left hand side. That's the front end loader that they're using to mix their material. Uh, they're putting the biosolid in and they're also mixing it with lime to make it better. Uh, <laughs> yeah, to help stabilize it and whatnot. This is a gas well of Exco. They spread this stuff so close to the well site and filled it in that now the guys that have to work on these wells and whatnot actually are afraid that they're going to get it on their boots, on their clothes, on their equipment, get it tracked into their trucks. They eat their lunch in their trucks. I mean, these guys don't go back to the shop and sit down at a big table and have a big pile and eat lunch. They eat on the go. Now this stuff is right there where people are going to get in it. And then the worst part is they go home, where your wives and your children are. And, hey, if they're anything like my kids, they can run into dad to get a hoe. Now they got it. They don't know what's in it. So that's our big fear. This is McGee's Mills Highway. <coughs> These guys spread within 20 feet of the highway. How can this even be right? It's tracked out on the road from the trucks. It's tracked out through everything from the animals that are in it. But it's right here, against the highway, where each and every one of you and I drive, maybe every day. This stuff smells so bad, but it stinks, and it gets on everything. It's out on the highways, and now it's on your car, and you go home. It's in your driveway if you wash your car. You know, this, this can't be. There's rules and regulations, and this exceeds them right there. This is the power on the uh, million dollar stretch. The slope on this here one is 36.5%. It's not to be any more than 25%. So right there, they're in, uh, not in compliance with their own rules and regulations. Just another one of the, the site there. Isn't this a nice one? Welcome to State Game, game Lands. Hunt safely, but the bottom we're going to tell you, watch where you step. Because we're spreading biosolids here. At this time, I'm going to turn it over to my wife. Uh, oh, excuse me, to the Game Lands. So they can do their presentation. And... <coughs> Thank you. 